Hello, and welcome to the BCTC Ultra Course Training. Uh, this is the um, the get you ready for teaching an ultra, and I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the course, kind of what you're going to be doing, and show you the different areas of the course. Uh, my name is Dr. Kevin Dunn, and I'll be giving you the little tour. So first off, this is what the course looks like uh, when you log in. This is the student view, so this is exactly what you should be seeing, hopefully. Um, what we do first is we've got the welcome message up here. You should always include a welcome message. You can either include it separately like I did here, or you can do it in the start here area. Just depends on how you want to do things. Um, I generally will put a welcome um, video as a link here, and that's pretty much where you'll find this one is right at the top. Probably I either include it in this welcome. I haven't actually posted it yet because I'm making it, but it will be either in this welcome message when you click on it, or it'll be at the top above this. It'll probably be above this as a separate link. That's how I like to do it in my classes. And then after the video welcome and um, maybe a typed welcome message, then um, I'll do the start here. Um, like I said, sometimes, many times, I will have the welcome message actually in the start here section. So it just depends on how you want to do it. It's it's up to you. It's your course. So um, to get started, let's click on the welcome message. There's a couple things I want to point out to you in the welcome message. Uh, we're just give you a general overview, but the biggest part is here at the bottom. When you enrolled in this course, I created a blank shell for you. It is basically a sandbox shell that you can use for uh, putting material in your classes, things like that. Um, it will say something like uh, BCTC Ultra Training and Shell or something like that, and it'll have your username at the end of it. You'll you'll recognize it when you see it. If you want to, I have created a starter course shell. This just includes all the start here, um, some links, um, examples, things like that you can put in your class. It also includes the, uh, the student orientation that I created for uh, BCTC students or any student really teach, taking online classes. It's a really comprehensive look at Ultra and how you do assignments and things like that. So uh, there's also an introduction. Um, it's at the bottom of this um, that gives you a little overview of the student thing. Um, at the very bottom of the course, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but anyway, if you want to download that, just click on the starter course shell link right here. It will download a zip file to your to your computer. And then once you've downloaded that, go to your blank shell, the training shell that I created for you. You can see direction on how to import that file into your class right here. If you already know how to do it, then you can do it that way. But just here's the directions on how to import that file. And if you just want an overview of what's in the shell before you actually take the the leap and import it into the, your shell yourself. You can do the video overview, kind of go through that shell to let you know the different parts and components of that shell. So anyway, th that option is available to you. That is the very first thing right there in the welcome message. I wanted to make that clear to you because I don't mention it other places, but I wanted to make sure you had access to it right from the beginning because you really want your starter course shell materials to be in there first. That way it's arranged the way um, it should be arranged and then you can add things to it from there. So anyway, there you go for that. From there, we're going to go in the start here. The start here section just gives you an overview of the course, um, kind of talks about the structure, the tips on working through the course, different icons used throughout the course, um, course completion, computer requirements, all that good stuff. So click that, read through all this stuff. And then module one, we're going to get started with Ultra, gives you an overview of uh, kind of the Ultra experience in the site navigation. And then you can also, if you're set up to do the original course to Ultra course, like a conversion, um, that will be directions set there. You don't have to necessarily look that, at that if you're not doing that. Uh, but if you want to do that, that's a good place to start. Module two is all about building your course. And it's not, I mean, it does go into how to actually create a good course. Everybody should watch these. I mean, everybody should go through these, these learning uh, modules and the lessons to see how to build a good course. Even if the course is already created for you, there are some really good tips on making the course even better. So even if somebody's made the course for you, um, you can always um, add things to it and make it even better. So there's those. Um, the creating ADA compliant documents is an add on to this uh, module. Um, it's very important that you have everything ADA compliant. So there's the directions and some resources to make an ADA compliant Word documents. Then we have assessing learners. This is all about um, gradable items, assignments, assessments. Uh, we also go through different types of assignments and assessments. Um, all that's included in this area. Enhancing communication is all about discussion boards, group projects, um, different kinds of communication tools in uh, Ultra. And then evaluating your course. This is all about actually evaluating your course with um, with our quality assurance uh, program. So evaluating your course is just overview. It's just kind of how to look at the course. 
This one is actually very specific to us, this uh, 5.2. We are, I've actually put in there, Bluegrass actually uses the minimum, we've set a minimum course standard for quality for online courses that you have to meet. So when you, um, when you create a course, or even if you have a course created for you, they should meet these basic minimum standards. It's really good to work through these and um, that way you know how to build your course up. And then the course completion area will not, you can't access this until you've actually scored an 80% or higher on the 5.1 um, test. So in 5.1, there's a quiz. You have to take that quiz before you get the, it basically just gives you a little certificate saying you completed the course. Um, I recommend that you share that uh, with your AD and your coordinator and or your coordinator and also send it to me or at least just email me or copy me and let me know that you finished the course. I'll be keeping an eye on this course, but I may not be right on top of it. So if you, um, if you do want me to know so I can keep your name on a list of having finished the training, then, then do that as well. I've also included, remember I talked about that, um, that student, that basic shell, the starter shell has a student learning module already included. Well, this is just video directions on how to copy. This is the same module right here and it's, it's just listed separately. So if you already have an ultra shell and it also copy to an original shell, but it doesn't look quite right. The menu items are all on the left-hand side in the menu, all broken down and you'd have to you have to remove those around if you wanted to put that in your own original course. So it's not really recommended for the original course. Um, this is really more for the ultra courses. Um, the original link will be underneath there to where you can just import that into your original courses. And it'll basically be the same student learning modules just for your original courses in its own uh, folder or menu item on the side instead of uh, creating the, the bunch of different options on the side. So anyway, you'll see a link there at the bottom. Uh, and then you'll just have to import that into your course. That being said, um, this module includes um, getting started. This is for your students again. Um, this is getting started, navigating the site, um, navigating to learn ultra courses, submitting work in your Blackboard Learn course, that's ultra, um, tracking your performance in the course, that's basically viewing grades and things. And then this is just a bunch of videos um, that they can look at for how to do different things like submitting assignments or taking tests or checking their grades. It's just all these different videos they can watch. So this is the student learning module you can create to each individual shell. So I gave you this separate. The reason I didn't, I kept it separate um, instead of putting it in, I mean, you also got it in the starter shell, but I wanted to get ha also have the option to where you can move it into existing ultra shells without creating a whole new um, starter shell. So, so anyway, that, that's there. There's the directions on how to do it. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward. You just start here and you start working through the modules. I don't know how many hours this is going to take. Um, the guesstimated, this is kind of a, a highly modified view of, or modified course from Blackboard. I've modified it and made it kind of our own. They were recommending that it probably take you about 20 hours. If you do all the exercises and do the try this and do do actually make your course according to the modules and things in this, in this training, um, it will take you a while because designing a course is not a short uh, process. It will take you a while to even design the layout of your course. You can see I have it set up as modules um, here. You may have um, set up differently. Um, I like the module setup or it could be called units or whatever. I like this layout. It's very nice and very clean. Um, if you want to, you could have a single course content folder with folders underneath there. It's, it's just whatever you want to do, but you should have it well organized. And there's some talking about in the building courses, there's whole sections of uh, arranging your course and chunking it into pieces. Um, you shouldn't have your course spread out over like one of the building methods you can use. I'll just go on my lecture here. Uh, one of the building methods you can use is you, you can arrange it by weekly, like core lot, uh, by weeks, or you can do it by units or uh, topic. Um, I usually do units because I, I can never necessarily tie one topic to one section. But anyway, I just do unit one, unit two, you can do module one, module two, whatever you want to do week one, week two. Um, but I don't recommend you do assignments, discussion board, lecture notes. Um, yeah, don't recommend you divide it that way. The reason being is if you're a student and you go into, okay, I've got to look at my syllabus now to figure out what areas of the course I need to go to, to get the materials for this week. And if you already have it arranged into uh, a section, whether it be by weeks or whatever, I do everything in that section and that I'm no, I'm done. 
once I finish those sections, I know I'm finished. So that's just a really good way to, if you think about it from a student perspective, it's a really good way to organize things. So anyway, I'll get on my soapbox. This is kind of the module or this is the kind of the course. And if you have any questions, please email me. Don't hesitate to email anytime. It's kevin.dunn at kctcs.edu. And uh, I'll be more than willing to help you with any questions. You can also send a message. Click on this little messages section up here at the top. And I don't have it available to students, so you can't hit plus. But there's a plus. There'll be a plus sign right up here at the top to where you can click uh, to create a new message. It's only available once I go live with this. Um, I guess it's a good thing. And uh, so anyway, you can send me a message the year too. I will be checking messages for this course as well as all my courses uh, throughout the semester. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any problems and I'll catch you next time.